Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Today in the NA. I'm your host, Brandon Hofstra. After a short break for the holidays, hockey is back. And with that, we'll look at our final weekend matchups of 2023. We'll also highlight the players select the play in their countries in Sweden at the World Junior Championships. And look at how the standings are shaping up heading into 2024. But before that, let's take a look at those NCAA commitments. May Nordiques forward Jake Bernadette announced his commitment to play Division One hockey for St. Lawrence University. The South Burlington, Vermont native and NAHL rookie is playing in his first season with the Nordiques and is nearly on a one point per game pace, recording 31 points in 32 games so far this season. Those 31 points place him second on the main roster and tied for sixth in the East Division. His offensive success has been a key factor in Maine's first place spot in the division standings. His teammate and veteran Evan Orloff has committed to play alongside Bernadette at St. Lawrence University. The 03 defenseman, native to Kensington, Maryland, is in his third season playing for the Nordiques, appearing in 133 regular season games to date. Across those games, Orloff has tallied 18 goals and 35 assists. Through 25 games played so far this season, Evan has 5 goals and 13 points and is on pace for a personal record of points across the season in the NHL. Nikita Masherikov of the New Jersey Titans made his commitment to play collegiate hockey at Princeton University in the ECAC Conference. The 18-year-old from Russia is in his first season with the Titans and is already contributing great on the offensive end, recording 11 goals and 9 assists through 23 games. Nikita is the 12th New Jersey Titan on the roster, committed to play Division I hockey. Fairbanks forward Mark Lund announced his commitment to play NCAA Division I hockey for Northeastern University. The third-year NAHL vet from Edina, Minnesota, is leading the Ice Dogs in points with 19 through 32 games played. Lund's NAHL journey began with a short four-game stint with the St. Cloud Norsemen in the 2021-22 season before joining Fairbanks, where he hasn't left the ice. Through 81 career regular season games with the Ice Dogs, Lund has tallied 42 points. Moving back to the East Division, Johnstown Tomahawk defenseman Justin Gibson made his Division I commitment to play for Stonehill College. Gibson, a Pittsburgh native, sits fourth in points on the Johnstown roster with 24 throughout 29 games. Those 24 points also place him fourth across the league for defensemen and scoring. Gibson is the third Tomahawk committed to playing Division I hockey and will be joining former Tomahawk leading goal scorer Anthony Galante at Stonehill. Congratulations again to all those guys advancing in their academic and athletic careers. Speaking of advancement and excellence, the 2023 World Junior Championship got underway on Tuesday morning in Gothenburg, Sweden, and six players with NHL ties are participating in the event. Two NHL netminers are defending their country's crease at the event, including Lone Star's current goaltender Devis Rolovs and former Chippewa Steel goaltender Adam Guyon. Rolovs got the start in Latvia's opening matchup against the host team Sweden, and Guyon is continuing his success at World Juniors, including a 36 safe shutout win on Wednesday. Other current NHLers representing their countries include Fairbanks defenseman Ingus Lamellis and New Jersey forward Christophers Krumens, who are both playing in a Latvian sweater. Forward Davis Borosinskis will be playing alongside those two, while former NHLer and current Bemidji State Beaver Eric Polkamp will be representing the United States. Good luck to all those participating and representing their country at a high level. Let's finish today's episode by taking a look at the division standings of the other 2024 and some weekend matchups to look forward to. In the central, the Minot Minotauros hold a stable lead at first place with 43 points, seven more than the second place Bismarck Bobcats. Both teams have been on fire recently as the Minotauros are seven and three in their past 10 games, while Bismarck has won 8 of their last 10. This weekend, they will face off in a 3-game set, with Minot hosting the Bobcats on Friday and Saturday before heading east to finish their series in Bismarck on Sunday. Moving out east, the Maine Nordiques and Maryland Black Bears share first place with 49 points, both sitting comfortably 12 points above the 3rd place Generals and 14 above the 4th place Titans. The Red Hot Nordiques are 8-1-1 one one in their past 10 games and have a chance to take the sole lead in the East Division in their weekend matchups against the Philadelphia Rebels on Saturday and Sunday in Holly Dell Ice Arena. Keep an eye on recent NCAA commits Evan Orloff and Jake Bernadette to be making impact on both ends of the ice. In the Midwest Division, it's a tight battle at the top as the Windigo and Jets sit within four points of the first place Minnesota Wilderness, who lead the division with 41 points. The Jets have an opportunity to tie Minnesota in the standings this weekend as they head north to take on the Wilderness on Saturday and Sunday. Janesville leading goal scorer and Minnesota native Hayden Cruz will look to continue his success against Minnesota, recording three points 
in their first four matchups this season. And finally in the South, the Brahmas still dominate the leaderboard with 51 points, a nine point separation from the second place Mudbugs. The Brahmas have lost just one game in their last 10 and look to continue that momentum heading into 2024 as they host the Jackalopes on New Year's Eve, who are coming off a Friday and Saturday set of games against the Ice Rays. Meanwhile, on the northwest side of Texas, the third place Amarillo Wranglers play host to the fifth place New Mexico Ice Wolves on Saturday and Sunday. Each team is looking to turn the course from their recent play as they finish 500 or worse in their last 10 games. Keep an eye out for New Mexico forward Yusaki Ando on the score sheet who has at least a point in all but one of seven games played in the month of December. That will do it for today's episode. A reminder, you can watch all these matchups and all the games all season on NHL TV, the exclusive streaming host for watching the North American Hockey League. And make sure to follow along with all the action on our website, all of our social medias as well. Until next time, I'm Brandon Hofstra. Thanks for watching today.